Oh, your Big 2 local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Good morning, everyone. Here's a live look outside of Midland, and you can kind of see what's happening out there. The raindrops here falling here from the sky. Uh, thanks to our Sky Tracker Network camera for picking this up for us. If you are in Midland, be careful. There is a little bit of street flooding going on outside. In fact, some areas near you are under a flood advisory. We'll get to that here in just a little bit. But the rain is hanging on for us throughout the day. Good news here. It clears by tonight, and then by tomorrow, we are looking at sunny and much drier weather conditions that will be in place. But first, we are are still tracking this upper level disturbance, this upper level low feature that you see spinning along here along West Texas. Now, most of that moisture, at least in the upper levels, is way off to our east now. That's where we're seeing the heaviest amount of rain, but we are still on the back side of that system, or at least we're about to be. So that's why we're still looking at some overcast conditions, clouds, rain, and that still means that we are going to see some localized street flooding as a result. And zooming on down towards our local area, we'll first start off with the mountains, and you can see we are finally now ending with the rain here. We haven't really seen a whole lot of rain. I think we're about done for the mountainous terrain here and, and the Trans-Pecos, but if you are in the basin, well, you're looking pretty rainy here this morning. In fact, we have a lot of that rain here moving the way from south to north, especially up here along the eastern Permian Basin. Now off towards the west, you can kind of see this uh, wrapping around feature here. That's that upper level disturbance here, moving all that rain here towards the west. So if you are in Hobbs and towards uh, eastern Lee County, watch out here for some heavy rain. Zooming on down towards a little bit Andrews, you're getting some very heavy rain currently. And up towards uh, Eastern Lee County, you're getting some very heavy rain still as well. So this can cause some problems along the streets, which is why we have that flood advisory issued from the National Weather Service. Uh, we already seen areas here in this box uh, pick up uh, very close to an inch, and some areas already over an inch of rainfall of the forest this morning. So some very heavy rain already occurring here early. And you see that we also have the winter weather going on on the back backside of that low pressure system because temperatures are very cold, but it's mainly up towards the six to 7,000 feet mountainous terrain where we do have concerns here of some accumulation of some snow. Actually, a winter storm warning here for the extreme northwestern portion of uh, Culberson County, which goes into effect until 11 a.m. of three to five inches possible. But that's way above elevation, above 7,000 feet. So uh, unless you're up around 7,000 feet, you don't really have to worry about it. For for much of the uh, for much of the Permian Basin, including West Texas, Odessa, Midland today, the rain here continuing until about uh, 8 p.m. is when we can expect that rain to end, and temperatures are going to be well into the 50s. So so you'll notice the rain here continuing to move away. Uh, we're still going to be seeing a lot of rain here, as you can see, as we head to around 8 a.m. this morning, followed by the early afternoon hours. We're still looking at some of that rain still moving away from us. It's really not until around the late afternoon into the early evening where you start to see most of that rain pulling away from us. So it's going to take some time, but I can assure you that we are looking a lot better, especially as we head into tomorrow, as this uh, high pressure system will be in place behind that upper low that moves through. It is going to create some dry and a lot of sunny weather here for us in the next couple of days. But for today, we have to get through these rain chances. They're looking pretty high starting around now until noon between 90 to 100 percent. So very good possibility that we're going to see the rain here today once again. And you'll notice the rain chances drop down as we head into tonight. As far as how much rain we could be looking at today, anywhere really between one to two inches, an additional one to two inches that is uh, from the added totals that we saw yesterday across the area. And we could see local amounts of approaching three inches possible yet again. Here's a look at tonight. Temperatures are dropping down to the 30s. The rain is ending, but the clouds still hanging on here for us throughout the most part. And here's a look at your 10 day forecast. You'll notice that conditions are looking rather nice throughout the rest of the work week. We do have some rain chances once again on Sunday. Heading into next week, though, conditions looking real, uh, fairly nice for the most part, with temperatures uh, for, for the most part into the 70s here as well. You can also download the Your Basin Weather app, so that way you're always up to date on our local weather in West Texas. The app is free uh, on the Google Play or the Apple App Store. And be sure to check out yourbasin.com as well for the very latest.